Today is a very exciting day because I'm gonna be upgrading the Wi-Fi system in my studio with a mesh Wi-Fi finally. If you guys new to mesh Wi-Fi, we're gonna talk about why and how this is a much better solution compared to you know just using the built-in router that your internet provider gives you and you know adding extenders here and there this is tp-link deco e4 one of the cheapest option to get into the mesh wi-fi world out there so yeah very excited let's get into it <sighs> all right much better let's get into it Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and welcome to this um, seemingly random video where I'm gonna talk about the mesh Wi-Fi system. Basically, we have like one main router and then the others are satellite routers that have a dedicated connection to the main router. So the connection between two of these or actually I believe they can connect up to 10 or like 30 devices or something like that and it will give you a very large coverage with very good speeds when compared to just main router and you know some small extenders put here and there let's just go through the box real quick here as a quick disclaimer this is bought by myself no one is sponsoring me anything so if you want to support the channel please consider using links down in the description below all right so i'm just gonna point this up straight away why this system is so cheap is because TP-Link limits the Ethernet port here to be a fast Ethernet, which only supports speeds up to 100 megabits per second instead of gigabit Ethernet, which supports up to 1000 megabits per second. So if you have internet connection more than 100 megabits per second, then this is not for you. You should look for the higher end ones like the Deco M5 or the Linksys Velop or stuff like that. But if you have internet connection below 100 megabits per second, then this would be perfect for you. Because first of all, you don't need it anyway. And the wireless speeds, especially when connecting between devices are gonna be fast as well because it supports AC Wi-Fi, 800 something megabits per second. So enough talking now, let's check out some of the uh, writings in the back here. First of all, we can see AC Wi-Fi with Wave 2 MooMimo, which means like multi-user, multi-input, multi-output. It's kind of like the router can dedicate a route to four devices. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but like a couple more devices than, you know, just switching quickly between all the devices that's connected. One of the selling points of a Wi-Fi mesh system like this is you have seamless roaming with one Wi-Fi name or two if you have the guest mode on. So that's basically you don't have like to connect. Oh, okay, I forgot to connect to the extender no matter where you are you only connect to one wi-fi and that's pretty much it so that is cool so let's just open this right away i've <laughs> been keeping you waiting for so long now and i'm so excited to see what is inside the box let's open it okay cool cool got two big boxes this is for the power adapter with very nice branding actually i love this and also some quick installation guide oh fettuccine style ethernet cable and this is the unit itself which i've read online like this weighs close to one kilogram or something but it's not really that heavy for one kilogram maybe i forgot how heavy one kilogram is we have a warranty card here and that's pretty much it yeah all right so these are the mesh wi-fi's okay it feels kind of empty it looks kind of empty from the inside but i think it's fine nothing to really complain about but it is quite tall actually very nicely built here for something this cheap and let's take a quick look at the power adapter here before we just set everything up and see the comparison <laughs> that's it like Seriously, the box, the unboxing experience is very straightforward, very simple. You just have the box with stuff inside and that's pretty much it. Okay, that's pretty cheap looking, but it's okay. So taking a quick look at the device here, we have an LED indicator with a TP-Link logo up there, which will blink like red for pairing and stuff like that. Pairing, it's like searching for Wi-Fi. And then two Ethernet ports, which again, maximum up to 100 megabits per second and power adapter you're gonna plug it in down here with ample like how do you call it like airflow holes there from up top and down here actually can you see that no you cannot see that 
All right, so that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Let's set this up and we're gonna compare the results before and after setting up this mesh Wi-Fi. See you then. All right, it's been a couple hours since I've been tinkering with the right placement of the two units that we have here. First one is, of course, it's gonna be on the first floor. So this is my floor plan. First floor is the main router and I have a cable run from the first floor to the third floor. But unfortunately, this cable, I think they, it has some problem. If I try to put the router on the third floor, it will end up in speeds like this. So basically half the speed, I don't know what is happening right here. And my studio is on the second floor. So all the devices in the second floor ended up confusing whether to connect to the third floor or the first floor, which is not ideal. So for the rest of the test things, I just move the satellite unit from third floor to second floor and just try to find the right placement there. In the end, I found the best placement to be like right on top of the main router with only one thick concrete floor. And so far, the result has been revolutionary if that means anything because I have like a 20 megabits per second internet anyway. So just to let you know, all the numbers that you're gonna see are an average of five speed test run using the speed test app on my iPhone 10. And so let's start with the first speed test, which is right beside the main router on my first floor. And from the included router given by my internet service provider, we have a download average 21.1 megabits per second and an upload speed of 4.3 megabits per second. Compare that to the average number I got from the Deco E4, we have 20.9 megabits per second download and an upload speed of 4.3 megabits per second, which is exactly the same result as I get from the main router. So that's good. Now moving on to the second floor, which is where I'm at right now. And I've been using this Xiaomi Extender Pro for the longest time now. And this, if I try to connect to the first floor Wi-Fi, this won't connect. So basically I have to connect this to the third floor Wi-Fi, which is again, limited to 10 megabits per second for some odd reasons, probably some issues in the cabling there. So this is not the most scientific testing, but I wanna show you like a real improvement in my situation right now with all the factors taken in. This gives me a download speed of 3.6 megabits per second and an upload speed of 3.7 megabits per second. So it's fine for the upload speed there, but the download, it's a far cry from what I'm subscribed to. And worse, I, I didn't realize that I've been using like basically three to four megabits per second internet all this time. <laughs> I'll try and give you a drawing of my second floor plan right here. And basically this uh, Xiaomi router, I plug it in directly on a wall. It's the wall is right here. It's like up there, the wall plug in the hopes of that it can connect to the third floors and get more signal. And for the first testing, I try to put the Deco E4 right here as well. So I have a piano right here and I just put it on top of the piano. But as for the Deco E4, it is connected wirelessly to the first floor Deco main unit. The results that I get from the Deco E4 is still better than this, even though not that drastic. So on top of the piano, the Deco E4 gave me a download average of 4.9 megabits per second and upload speed of 4.0 megabits per second. A little bit improved, but still. 20 megabits per second, come on, okay? So the next thing and what took me the longest time is I wanted to make use of that cable that my father has put from the first floor to the third floor. So I tried to connect the satellite unit of the Deco E4 on the third floor in hopes of, you know, maybe I could get a better speed. It didn't work. On the second floor, it just gave me nothing. 0 0.3 megabits per second, as you can see on the B-roll that I'm gonna show it to you here. It's just useless. So I scrapped the whole cable thing and I moved the Deco E4, the satellite unit, down there which is right on top of the Deco E4 main unit on the first floor. So now this 
is the mesh Wi-Fi benefits that I'm talking about. As for the download average speed, we're getting 20.4 megabits per second and an upload speed of 4.2 megabits per second. Come on, that's basically my full speed right there and I'm getting it on the second floor. That is a huge improvement and best of all is this thing called seamless roaming between units. So if I go from the first floor to the second floor, I won't get any interruption at all. It will seamlessly roam and switch units from the first one to the second floor one. It's just a revelation to me. It's, it's, it's really great to use now. Like Wi-Fi doesn't suck now. <laughs> I'm so happy. This has been a really, really nice purchase for me. Because honestly, using a Wi-Fi extender like this, it's kind of like a band-aid solution to solve a leaking pipe, for example, rather than exchanging the whole pipe with a better one. Hopefully this analogy makes sense and hopefully this video could help you learn more about mesh Wi-Fi technology and why it is so good. Talking about the TP-Link Deco E4 here, I can wholeheartedly recommend it to you if you have less than 100 megabits per second internet at home. Even if you plan to upgrade your internet to more than 100 megabits per second in the future, you can always buy one router, for example, the Deco E5 that has that gigabit ethernet and use it as your main router. And these can be used as the satellite routers and your speeds will be just fine because the wireless capability of this is not limited to 100 megabits per second. But if you plan to, let's say, put a satellite there near your PC and plug it to your PC, that will still be limited to 100 megabits per second. So yeah, basically you get what you paid for here. It is a really nicely built mesh Wi-Fi starter kit, I say. So you guys can really consider this as opposed to getting like more extenders for your existing router. And also about the TP-Link Deco app, I think it's fantastic. Everything is dead simple to set up. You may lose some of the features on the E4 here, but it's still more than enough. I can still put in guest network, quality of service, and prioritize several devices that I personally use. It's amazing for me personally. It's, it's everything that I could ask for. It's super cheap and it makes my Wi-Fi awesome now. What's not to love? Okay, that is pretty much it for the video this time around. Thank you so much for hanging with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to try some of these stuff, I'll try to put the links down in the description below as well as the Deco M5 as it's, you know, bigger brother, the full on like crazy good mesh Wi-Fi system. Give it a thumbs up if this video helped. Subscribe for more videos like this or if you've been waiting for more TrueWaz Airbuds reviews and Aptex adaptive reviews, don't worry, I've got them coming. I, I, I just need to edit them. Let me know if you have more questions. Let me know if uh, I said something wrong in this video down in the comments below. I can't wait to see you guys. Follow me on social media at NameKen and that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenneth and I will see you in the next one. Bye.